Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video here, we are able to successfully add all that our permission in our database, right? Here you can see it's now successfully inserted all that our name and also it's inserted all that our group. Now in this video, I want to complete uh, our edit update functionality. Let's do that work. For doing this, that will be in our all permission page. I want to go our all permission, okay, into the all permission that is our menu. I want to now create another new one. I want to name it as a that will be as a edit permission right so that will be edit permission and also we have to edit it with a specific one of the id i have already get all that our permission that i take the things with this variable great now we have to go to that our web now that will be as a edit permission or url will be as a edit permission i want to create another new method that will be as a edit permission great now i want to create this type of one of the method as edit permission in our role controller i want to do after that that will be as a public and then function our method name will be as a edit permission process will be just like that same before here also we have to get that our requested id okay i simply get that requested id great rest of our process will be same here i take one of the variable as a permission okay permission this type one of the variable and here i want to do i want to access that our permission model and now with this model i want to get that as a find or fail our requested id okay that means a specific row id data now that will be get and then it will be return one of the view page return view will be the same okay here in our back end into the back end i have created our folder name as a pages and then the permission folder and now here i want to create another new one that will be as a edit permission okay that will be the edit permission great now with this edit permission here i want to do and to pass that our compacted data so i simply pass that our compact data that i have take it with the variable as a permission i simply pass it okay perfect now we have to create it as a edit permission i want to copy it now that will be in our pages permission folder now i want to create another new file click as a save as i name it as a edit permission dot blade dot php okay now here i want to do i want to copy everything from our add permission and then here i want to paste it great also they have some of the uh, is our functionality for the validation i hope you already know about this part here i didn't load it but i want to remove it now that will be our name name value only that should be display process will be same here i have already get all that our permission data right i want to done to display it. that is our permission i pass it in our edit permission page now into the edit permission area here with this variable i want to do i want to display our field name as a name right in our database that is our field name as a name and also our group name that should be as a selected right so our process will be same actually now our name value should be display and also our group should be selected so if you want to display the our group so what exactly we have to do i have done this type of work a lot of the time right here i have to do and to get it everything with the permission variable right so here with this permission now i want to do i want to access our field name our field name here i name it as a group underscore name so that will be as a here with this i want to access that group group underscore name when this group name will be equal 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 our istin value because here when you select it i have actually passed that our value as a type right so now when that will be as a type then then that will be add one of the class as a selected and else okay else it will be as a empty simple condition right friend i hope it's very clear with this permission it will be check our specific row id data in our group that is a group name so you do the group name area here when it will be get that as a type okay because here i have actually passed that our value all that our value as a state that is our amenities value property value so when that will be match then that will be as a add one of the class as a selected else it will be as a empty great now that will be same better i copy it now also we have to update all the things in here that is for the amenities that is for the properties for package history and then here one by one we have to actually add because there is a multiple field data right there i want to add it and also there is a post that will be as a comment that will be as a smtp that will be for the site and that will be for the role okay 
now or um, we need to update that value when that will be as a state then that will be as a selected rather than that will be as a empty when that will be as a amenities okay when that will be as a amenities that will be selected when that will be as a property that will be as a selected the history sorry when that will be as a history then that will be selected that will be message okay and then that will be as a agent then that will be as a create category then that will be selected the post so that will be the post and that will be the comment and that will be as a smtp okay and then that will be the site and then that will be the role okay great great so that's all that are filled hmm, perfect so now that should be also as a selected and also a name value should be display right now let's check this out click as a save all and to run our php artisan optimize optimize is running successful and now if you go i want to check it right now if you refresh it now you can see there is a type menu and that is group name as a type that means that should be as a selected now click as a edit hmm, you can see and now that is perfectly display our value but here actually selected as a testimonial right uh, maybe i said do something wrong uh, that will be when that will be as a type it will be as a selected you can see here i actually also use it the type so that will be the testimonial so that is a testimonial when that will be the testimonial that will be the selected else it will be the empty mm, great now let's check this out again now click as a save all and now if you go now refresh it Hmm. you can see now that is successfully selected as a property type right if you go back and that is our state menu that should be selected as a state group name click as the edit here yeah, you can see it's now selected as a state great now we have to do have to simply update it so if you want to update also here we have to pass that our requested id so i want to do and to take one of the input hidden field process will be same now i name it as the id and id will be our value value will be the same here i have already take all the data with the permission now by this permission i want to do to pass that our permission table id okay i simply pass it great so friend that's all and now we have to create another new route i name it as a update okay update permission now this type of one of the route i want to create if you now go to our web route now I want to replace it as a update permission that will be as a update sorry update permission I want to create another new method as a update permission okay now this type of the method I want to create and that will be just like our store I just simply want to copy all the things from to the store and now after that I want to paste it okay so now here that will be as a update permission I want to update it and here only first of all we have to get that our requested id data requested id means which one i hope you already get the point so that is our specific requested id right so i want to do and to simply take it so that will be i take one of the variable okay i take one of the variable as a permission id okay i name it as a par underscore id and it will be our request requested field name i pass it as a id right because here from to this position i have already passed one of the he hidden id so that is our hidden id i name it as the id so that is our requested id so now first of all here that will be do we don't need this variable i want to remove it now into the permission area here that will be not create here first of all it will be find or fail okay that will be the find or fail our requested id and then that will be as an update okay then that will be the update so our requested id i take it with our variable a specific this id related data the name should be updated and then our group name will be updated it will be displayed as a permission updated updated okay updated successful and it will be display as a success message and then it will be written directly to our all permission page okay friend i hope everything is very very much clear to you it's very simple now click as a save all and now i want to check it i want to run that php artisan optimize and now if you refresh it now i want to, want to update it as a one one and i make it as a as a testimonial right now click as a save changes hmm, you can see it's now successfully updated as a permission updated successful our name is updated also our group name is updated right if you click as a edit now i want to change it again and also want to make it as a that will be as a state right i want to change it 
now that should be updated yeah you can see successfully updated now i want to also complete that our delete functionality that will be very simple in here i want to create another new route that will be as a delete permission and then also you have to delete it with a specific one of the requested id so that will be our url as a permission then that will be as a delete permission now to create another new method as a delete permission okay simple things now we have to do we have to create it we have to create our delete permission in our role controller so into the role controller here after that i want to create it as a public function and method name will be as a delete permission great so now that will be our and method here also that should be one of the requested id okay now here what exactly you have to do simple job i want to access that our permission model and then here we have to add that our find or fail our requested id sorry it will be get that our requested id when it will be get then that will be as a delete okay so that will our delete function i simply call it that's all and after that that will be displayed on the notification message as a permission deleted deleted successfully and it will be returned direct to the back page okay so now it will be returned direct to the same page that's all okay that's all now that should be deleted now click as a save all and now if you go if you refresh it sorry here also we have to run that our optimize now i just simply run that optimize you can see it's getting the same error now if you refresh it now it's successfully loaded now i want to do on to delete like we want to add another one as a test okay test and then i make it as a amenities now save it successfully save and now i want to remove that our test now click as it delete ds deleted now that should be deleted you can see that is a permission deleted successful and now that is totally gone from here great in our next video friend i want to do here that is all that our permission so right now from here you can actually add one by one all that our permission because we have to actually add all that our different type of permission in here right like as a testimonial as an property related everything we have to add so in our next video i want to discuss about another most interactive things how can export all that your data to the csv file or the excel file and also how can import some of the data from to the excel file to the, your database okay so it will be very interactive one of the things so how can import some of the data uh, from to the excel and also how can export that data to the excel so in our next video i will show you that things with the live example so thanks for watching i will see you in the next video